these two little mobs better hit blade. What are you doing? Get hurt more. You like to get hurt. Lynx is quantum and funny. He's also the best partner for someone like Blade and Clara. I've just finished building mine and I'm gonna show you what destruction looks like. Hello, internet! Today we have Tiny Japard. We got Lynx here. She's um, Japard's little sister. Everything about everything is so tiny. I'm use even using Bylus like code, man. You're so tiny as well. The reason why Lynx is good with Blade is because her skill increases aggro value on like destruction or preservation character, which Blade wants to get hit a bunch, right? Priestess wise, it's like pretty good already with relics being kind of weird, actually. I'm using Passerby with Guard and Broken Q to get the F-Res off. I am E6, but it honestly does not matter because all she needs to do is to hit E on Blade. Right, that's all she needs to do. This will also be a test for Lynx herself as well. Can she perform as a solo sustain though? I'm using Pella, which caused a war on Reddit about her age. I'm also using my bratty sister. I've just been educated for the fact that people call Stroll Wolf the silver cutting. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the fight. The idea with this team is I'll have two squishy um, debuffers, shredding their defense constantly with Lynx protecting my team, and hopefully everyone hits Blade. And look at this. If you don't have Lynx skill up, right? This boss is showing you how RNG works. Everyone got hit but Blade. Isn't that wonderful? Right, Sir Rose is already almost dead. We do not have full shred in this team, and I don't even feel natural right now. Am I just gonna one-shot? I think I might get one-shot, guys. Right, bang. Here comes the fishies. I'm not gonna get one-shot, thankfully, but I'm actually gonna get close, though. This is kind of dumb. What in the world? So you're saying if Lynx doesn't get my ult here, Sir Wolf dies. Well, well, we're off to a perfect start. Blade got hit the least in my team, by the way. Don't I have to heal Sir Wolf then? Let's do it to Blade, man. I don't give a damn. There we go. We have enough. That means we are able to heal, but it's continuous healing, not burst healing, though, so I'm not gonna get healed too much. That's what I would say, but that's quite a bit, you know what I mean? Right, we finally have everything on blade. Let's look at this. Survival response increases the chance of being attacked by enemies, and I also get 1,000 more health? Wait, that's a lot. I'm almost 10k, yo. Alright, let's go and use our E. If they just touch me one time, you're screwed. Right, you have to hit blade. I mean, if you're just AoEing, then that doesn't matter, I suppose. But let me just use my ulti here. I'll use my single target here. Here's why Lynx is so good as well. If I buff Blade, Blade's destruction, he'll get like aggro, right? But if I buff more like Super Wolf, she's not destruction or preservation. So I don't have to be afraid where if I heal her, she just kind of targets herself. Right, the game is already over now. I'll hit the Trotter. The right Trotter will kill its own kind, which then kills the Chapa girl. Right, this will take my max health away, which sucks. And dude, did you see that? So like with an increased aggro Blade, you're still hitting silver wolf right i'm gonna buff it on blade again because it's only one more turn and i want my ult up dude hit blade man how is it possible silver wolf is the one being hit the most right now right this will kill you and we're finally moving on to the next we're against bronya's tier 3 sub this should mean he'll do a bunch of like single target attack so yes there we go hit blade that's how it's supposed to go. There we go. God, man, is that so hard? But yeah, as up to this point, Lynx is doing well, right? She's doing her job. Though I am kind of close to dying, but all good. We are going to use our skill here. Get my ulti off. We are going to kill Brian's creepy sub as fast as I could. Right, here goes. Boom. We need to heal with Lynx. And again, Pella's the ability, so we don't have to care. Let's just do it, do it like this. And now we have our ult. This ult is really strong, where it cleanses debuff on my whole team, right? So bang. Yep, off goes the Jappa effect. Off goes all the wind she. There's a reason why she's just better than Natasha now. A whole war doctor gets beaten by a kid with a bunch of fish cans. I only have one turn of survival response for mating, so this is kind of bad. Let's just do this. I don't feel like I have increased aggro. It's mostly just Cyril getting hit. So I would say yes, it's very much not consistent. Right, we're gonna summon your little kids now, and this is perfect. These little things will always do one single target hit, and I need them to all hit Blade, right? So let's open our fish can for Blade. Here goes nothing, dude. We should be able to do, like, an infinite amount of follow-up attack with Blade now. Everyone should want to hit you. Like, this counter right here, that's one hit. And then you would siphon me off, but he still hits Sir Wolf. What the crud? You're just jealous of her beauty. These two little mobs better hit Blade. What the fuck? <laughs> I have it, no? I have the buff. What are you doing? Get hurt more. You like to get hurt. Maybe we need to do it one more time. Yeah, like, I don't understand. They only hit Blade on AoE, which, duh, it's fucking AoE. All right, thank you for hitting me. 
Gosh dang, out of like what? Oh, 130k damage though. Out of what? Five possible hits? You only hit me once? Dude. Well, well, we are gonna finish this fight. I do not felt like a flood. My Cyril got hit more than Blade. What the crud, Milo? So that's how they perform Menosis. You can see it's pretty safe. You know, Link's as a solo sustain, absolutely okay, right? Right, maybe the first fight was just unlucky. Let's just fight freaking Yanching, dude. Bullying Yanching, always in my wheelhouse, man. Let's get it. There is no way you're telling me Pella and Cyril Wolf, as compared to an increased aggro Blade, both got hit more. I refuse to believe it. We'll set up all our debuffs. And now, well, we can't really do much for this hit though we haven't have our legs buff yet on blade they are kicking <laughs> but at least they're targeting blade for the arrow though this will be also good for me to showcase links as well this is moc stage two i know these two cc's you that's annoying if you have e6 links's ability will actually give you 30 percent fres for the target right so i'm gonna just do that to my blade hopefully he starts resisting and here comes the ease time to die oh yeah baby that's gonna get that death threat in. dude i've been using pella and Swirl together as a duo the damage you do with their defense being solo is just not real especially this left guy over here oh oh fres and oh oh fres baby only with links dude now the horses did target blade but it's not because of links's increased algorithm it's just because naturally this is what is supposed to, to like happen you should just get hit more as a blade than if you are so i just don't get why they get really so wolf and pella right this will uh, they, it, it hit Pella and it hurts adjacent targets. Guess who doesn't get hit here, Blade? And he has this too. I'm so confident this thing is broken. Right, this goes. There's another horse that hasn't kicked me yet. I'm hoping you kick the right target for once. And here it goes. Are gonna hit Blade now? Yes. You don't. Survival response for like survival.exe is not responding. I guess I'll do it one more time. This horse is gonna wake up. Is he gonna hit Blade? Oh, Yeepy Jeepy, you hit him one time. Oh, twice, actually. That's what I expect would happen. But it happens so rarely that I'm now just not convinced at all. But anyways, this is just still the prequel, though. These two bosses is like, you know what, whatever, right? The next wave, we should be fighting Yantri with a bunch of Elsa Swords. And those Elsa Swords will be able to attack me as well. If I can convince all those swords to hit Blade through links, then this will actually be pretty good. Up to this point, though, I don't really feel like I have been hit on Blade extensively a lot. Okay, now, now it's starting to change. Now it's starting to make sense. Right, I'll just kill you though. It's usually at the end of the fight where things that doesn't matter happen, you know what I mean? Right, we're up against Yancheng now. The moment he summons a sword is where I will do a bunch of crutter. Right, there we go. That's the sword. I should still have survival response. And both times, Pella got hit. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, I actually don't have survival response anymore. I would say though, the duration of Lynx's buff is just two turns, which makes it kind of hard to keep it on at all times. Right, I'll just put all the debuffs onto Yancheng here. Let's beat up Yancheng. I'm gonna use the ult here to heal up and I'm gonna have survival response up on Blade in this turn as well. Let's see if I'm gonna get hit at all. I'm gonna ult as well. The swords might just die before they get to like really hit me. One of them died. Okay, I think they all died out. Oh, oh dude. Oh, that's kind of lame. <laughs> I wanted to see if they'll hit me. Okay, that one hit me. This one pretty much also hit me. That also hit me. I kind of forgot the fact that Blade isn't just immortal. Wait, you need to stop hitting Blade. <laughs> no. All right, this will go. This should kill the Trotter. Not yet, though, actually. This would kill the Trotter. Bang. Boom. Hit you back. Okay, okay, okay. That was so clutch. If you didn't know, if you break all the swords, he actually gets a tiny pushback. That's the one pushback I needed. I'll heal Blade right here. And you are gonna hit Blade without missing once this time. It's like the AI knows, you know what I mean? To hit Blade only when it matters. Right, up to this point, they are only hitting Blade. That's very good. Yes, exactly. That's what I need you to do. Dude, if that happens consistently, this is like probably one of the easiest teams to bring into any fight. Because Pella and Swirls right now, they are healthy as heck, dude. We're in no danger. Right, you should hit Blade again. Oh yeah, it feels good. I guess I'm gonna keep getting Blade up, right? Having the constant heal on Blade is also good for Blade's ult as well, because, you know, it increases the mileage of the damage suffered. And just like that, I think we have done Bullet Yanching for one more time. Actually, no, we have to eat the ult. But either way, we should be good with this break right here. Bang, there we go. Silver Wolf's gosh dang pose at the end when you beat someone with her is just a thumbs down. That's why I gotta say to the RNG this video, man. Jeez. Only near the and we got to see the true potential links with blade did but yes there you guys have it dude that is links with blade as one of the combos that should on paper be good but as you can see 
practically, if you're unlucky enough like me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you might still get hit on anyone but Blade. But overall, even as a healer, she is actually able to, like, you know, provide good enough healing for me to be pretty safe. If it was a Natasha, I think she could have done almost the same as well. So, and I would say the moment you get E6 on links, she now became insane. 30% effort that you get from using her skill, dude. My Blade was resisting left and right, man. That was so nice. Anyways, guys, that is all I've got for today. This will be another, like, you know, normal showcase. I'll try and do some more fun stuff, you know, with all the cameras, IRL and stuff. Seems you guys seem to enjoy it. I don't take a lot of work, and I definitely don't want to get burnt out. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, dude. Take care.